Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with a bracelet tutorial. I just finished making this necklace and um, I feel like we need a bracelet or two to go with it. It's so much fun, it's so bright. Oh, I love it so much. And I had one of these left over um, and some of these beads left over. And then I had a ton of the starfish and some of the fire polish. So I'm gonna probably make two bracelets. I just don't know. I just don't know what the second one will be like the first one's coming together in my brain right coming together really quickly in my brain I'm just gonna use some 0.7 millimeter um, stretch cord today I'm using stretch magic that's what I had on hand um, I'm gonna put on my focal oh my goodness something obstructing that I don't know what that was but there was something in there There we go. Um, I'm gonna grab a couple Eidos. Put on my pink cubes. I have no idea what type of stone this is, but it's super cute. I love that. I love that. Um, do I have copper? I would love some copper heishis, but I don't think I have any like the look that I'm looking for. Kind of like snake beads or the rings, the brass rings that I have, but I, I don't, I know I don't have any. I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, so there is my cute little stretch bracelet. <laughs> it makes me so happy. <laughs> I love it so much. These colors are just, turquoise and pink are my two favorite colors. So I, and it's, most of the time I don't get to use them together. So uh, it just makes me so happy. Um, I am just going to, I'm gonna kind of look at the bead holes. I think we're okay. I'm just gonna stretch my bracelet. I haven't made a stretch bracelet in so long. And that used to be my favorite thing to make. But I've been really on knotted bracelets lately. I'm just going to take some GS Hypo Cement after I knot it uh, three times. So here's one, two, and three. Okay, then I'll take my GS Hypo Cement. And I'm going to dab just both sides really quickly with some glue. Put the needle back in. And I am going to trim. I actually tug a little bit once I put the glue on. And then I'm going to trim my tails. And move that knot inside my bead. And we have a cute little bracelet. Cute, cute, cute. And then um, I want to do another one and I want to use these little, I don't know what I want to do. I want to use these little um, fire polish beads and some of the starfish. I don't know if I just want to do like a whole bracelet with a toggle. I feel like that's going to be fun. Doesn't, it, they don't all have to be like crazy designs. Like this is a simple necklace. 
I feel like a simple um, bracelet will work. I just have to find a, cl a clasp that will work for my... These are cute. So I still have some soft flex wire left. Um, I'm going to start... Let me use the little ones today. The, eight, the 11 O's. And I don't know if I just want to have some starfish in the middle or if I just want to do the whole bracelet with starfish and fire polish. So I'm going to kind of test that out. Yeah, I think I really like that. I think I'm just going to do a whole bracelet that just looks like this. Okay, so I've just strung the length I needed and I already finished the one side. I'm gonna show you how to crimp onto your toggle. You can also crimp onto any kind of clasp or a jump ring. Um, just put your crimp bead on and string your wire through the toggle. And then we're gonna come back down through that crimp bead. Now these little copper beads are too tiny to come back through. So these little 11 O's, if they were eight O's, they would be large enough. And then m move down all your beads to the other end of your bracelet. Um, we don't want to, again, crimp in a straight line. Otherwise it's just not gonna be enough. It's not gonna be flexible enough to go around your wrist. So I'm going to crimp it while it's in the shape of where I would wear it on my wrist and pull tight trying to get rid of as many gaps as possible. There is still going to be a tiny gap here, but that'll be okay. And then I'm just going to do a crimp. So I'm going to put it in the largest valley of my crimping pliers. I use the um, Zeron brand most of the time. Sometimes they do use Softflex though. And then I'm going to put that in there and we're just going to squish so it should look like a little macaroni elbow and then I'm gonna move it again up my pliers after turning 90 degrees so we're gonna turn that little macaroni elbow 90 degrees and squish and we're gonna do that up the crimping pliers to make it look like a little tiny bead then I'm gonna take my nippers get as close to that bead as possible and I have a cute little beachy bracelet that was super simple but has a lot of impact because first of all it matches my necklace and my other bracelet so it's a perfect stacker now if I really wanted to I could do um, something that had a little bit more pink maybe um, or something that was just like all copper, maybe wear this, I would could probably just wear this with a copper bangle, maybe. Or I could paint another charm. Ooh, I'm gonna have to look through my, my um, starfish and see if I wanna make another bracelet using a starfish charm. I could go through my stash and find another starfish and make it match this or just use a copper starfish, um, which I might still do, but I feel like two bracelets is enough. And then I have, I still have more of these and then more of these cubes if I wanted to make an earring or something. Um, but I'm pretty happy with uh, how this turned out. I'm actually very happy with how this turned out. So let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. I'll put a link to this necklace in the description below so you can watch that video. Um, and stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute. Please like, subscribe, and share. Have a good day. Bye-bye.